By now, every gamer and the mother has heard about the PC exclusivity wars. Ah wait, war implies two forces. I suppose it's more like a rain of fire being thrown down by the Epic Store on all other launchers. Recently, the Epic Store has gone out of its way to purchase timed exclusive deals on games, forcing potential buyers to either download the Epic Store launcher or wait months to a year before the game is eventually e released on their preferred launchers. These exclusivity purchases have felt even scummier compared to console exclusive as it is clear the Epic Store has absolutely nothing to do with the development of these games. All, of the, Epic, all the Epic Store has done is gone up to studios and dropped a fat sum of cash to make sure the game is first released in their store. Now, I'm, now, I'm not a PC gamer but even I know how much this, is, this whole fiasco risks. risks. Consoles, primarily Xbox and PS4, have had their fair show, fair share of wars over the years, but there's always usually been a you know a clear distinction between first party developers and third party developers. You know, that the rule was, you know, it, it was clear because you had these games which were, you know, made by uh Sony companies, you know, like um like God of War and uh the games of this world and you had games that were you know flagships of xbox you know like halo and whatever you know these were games which if you wanted to buy them you had to buy the xbox or the ps4 exclusively you know and people although people didn't like the fact that you know you had to buy these consoles to get this game there was a kind of you know a kind of acceptance of it because it was these games were developed by the companies you know, they were developed by ea they were developed by you know xbox okay because these companies were in charge of the games themselves people just reluctantly accepted it as fact you know but uh, it's only recently that that rule was broken you know I, when you know xbox bought the tomb raider timed exclusive you know that was when that that was the first time that rule was actually broken by uh, by the companies you know and i feel that was that was the first time that gamers actually rose up and were angry, you know, on, about the console exclusive because at this point it was no longer um, if you own if you own an Xbox, then you get Xbox exclusives, you know. It's, now it became uh, any game at all can be bought and then you know stolen by Xbox, you know, and people didn't like that. People didn't like the precedent that set that set, you know. Uh, now going back to Epic, because this is about Epic. Epic Store, you know, they they chose to for, uh, they basically dumped the market, you know, by choosing to you know throw money at developers, you know, and um, the result and you know to keep consumers on the on the platform. Not actually, you know, that forcing consumers to use a platform now by taking games which are already in development, you know, games which have already been uh you know developed by companies and then force them into their own platform you know i like you to keep in mind that the epic store launcher right now is, is still a fast cry from steam you know there are many um items on the on the steam many features on the steam website which we currently don't have on the epic store okay which uh, let me now go down to you know today's topic in particular you know there's this game called auto wilds which was a, a crowdfunded game by Mobius Digital, okay, with now just its eight backers. And this game has basically taken the path of Phoenix Point to, you know, switch to an Epic Store exclusive, you know. Now, to be perfectly clear, um, this is not just an indie developer switching over to Epic Store, okay. This is a crowdfunded game, you know, meaning that this game literally would not exist were it not for the passionate fans who donated their hard earned funds to see this game come to light. But how do you think the, the fans of how do you think those fans feel now? You know, being told that they have to get the game on the Epic Launcher or wait God knows how many months until it's, until it's released on Steam too. These backers trusted the developers' words, and many now feel like they've been stabbed in the back. Of course, I personally have no doubt that the Epic Store most likely offered much more than Mobius Digital received through crowdfunding, which means that even in a worst-case scenario, Mobius Digital could return the crowdfunded cash and still have a lot to spare. And if you think I'm taking that out of my ass, uh, the last time this happened with um, Phoenix Point, their a developer actually came out to say that with the amount of cash that you know they received from Epic from the Epic Store, they could actually you know pay back everyone who you know uh, helped crowdfund the game. So yeah, it's it's not just something I'm spotting out of my ass. You know, people they a developer has actually come out to to state that as fact. You know. 
Now, uh, I don't want to harp, up, harp on too much about uh, Mobius Digital's decision, uh, but because, you know, many people have already talked about that. They, they've already... I'm, I'm here to talk about something else, you know. I just want to think about, you know, how what what impact does this have, okay? What uh, impact would this have on the gaming community as a whole? You know, because the thing about uh, communities is usually when one person makes... One person's decision is rarely an isolated, isolated event, okay? When someone decides to do something, it usually impacts the rest of the gaming community. And what I want to say is, this you know this sets a dangerous precedent okay the idea of uh epic you know idea of crowdfunded games choosing to go switch to another store not right now it's epic tomorrow it might be steam doing this or it might be um some other new store doing it okay basically what i'm saying is the thing about crowdfunding right now is you know it relies heavily on trust okay consumers uh trust the developers de to deliver a product okay and so they crowdfund it okay However, if that trust were to be broken, then there's a high chance that the consumer would no longer support the developer. And by wondering what I mean by this, okay? Well, Mobile Digital already got its funding, so they are good right now, okay? But what about the next indie developer, okay? The thing is, most of these backers for indie developers that are on things like Fig, on, um, on Kickstarter and the rest, they usually overlap, okay? People who are willing to spend their money for games like this, usually the crowds of photo account people overlap, okay? So, um... What if the next indie developer okay, wants to promise, is like, yeah, I want I want to develop this game and I promise to bring it out on Steam and whatever. And people are like skeptical because, you know, they've already seen that just because someone promised it doesn't mean it, it, it's a fact that it will happen. You know, it, it happened with uh, Digital Extremes, sorry, it happened with uh, uh, Phoenix Point and now with Mobius Digital. So who is to say that they won't be burned next, okay? I, I can understand if some people are actually skeptical and don't you know buy into this you know the hype for the next game and choose to support it you know um now uh, many big wigs in the current industry you know they, they look at current thing about gaming industry as a whole is we've noticed that developers tend to look at you know the current profit you know the, the current climate the current profit and they, they forget to look at the big picture okay what will happen next how much money uh, can they make long term okay many a lot of people ignore that and i don't know why they do that because they just they just think you know we get the money now right now and, and that's enough for us uh, i feel that's sad okay I, I really do feel that is a sad a very sad occurrence okay because this if people begin if people lose faith in um in basically in you know kickstarters and, and crowdfunding and stuff like that if people lose faith in those it, it's gonna be really bad for the for the industry as a whole because we're gonna lose a lot of gems you know i'm look i'm really looking forward to auto i was looking forward to auto wild like i said I'm, I'm not a pc gamer but you know every now and then i i get some games which we just come out from nowhere you know like papers please and i'm, I'm very interested in those games like that so if I get a game if I see a game like that on Kickstarter, I fund it sometimes. I mean there are games that are funded that I didn't play. Okay, so uh just you know I, I just personally feel that we shouldn't lose sight of that, okay? Uh developers, it might there might be a lot of profit to just turning over your game to Steam, to Epic or whatever or any other store, you know, for a lot fat lump of cash right now. But the thing is, you know, long term, I just hope it doesn't, you know, affect the entire gaming community as a whole. Okay, I hope it doesn't burn the trust of too many people because now if you think about it, people have been burned twice, okay? They've been burned by Phoenix Point and they've been burned by um by Mobius Digital, by Auto Wild, okay? We since this if two games like this have burned them, uh who's to say the next one won't do the same. Okay, so I feel I'm afraid that people will start losing trust in the system and they might choose to go somewhere else so I, I i personally hope that's not the case i pray that's not the case but you know what can you do if that's what if that's what's gonna happen it's gonna happen all right um but yeah that's that's it that's it for me i i don't want I, I don't want to stretch this video out so long that's that's it for me i just hope that you know if this doesn't negatively impact the gaming community I, I honestly do and if you're if you're a developer listening to watching this, I mean, I'm only gonna get like five views on this, but whatever. If you're a developer watching this, just keep that in mind, okay? Uh, don't break the trust, okay? We have a lot of trust in you. Please don't break it. 
and uh, we'll really appreciate it. All right. This is Ren from Janako Gaming signing out. Like, comment, subscribe, and you know, all the good stuff. Bye.